Okay, we're done with um with conservative and non-conservative forces. Now let's focus on one of the other forces that we will be considering, but that uh we can define a potential energy, which is our elastic potential energy. Okay, this is the one of the main topics of this discussion. So elastic potential energy, let's focus on uh on Hooke's law. So Hooke's law says that okay, consider an ideal spring. Uh, stretch at some displacement x. So, for example, you have a spring, tapos hinila ko. Anong tendency ni spring? Anong gagawin ni spring sa sa'yo? Anong, inex, anong, anong mararamdaman mo kapag hinila mo yung spring? Ang tendency ni spring, di ba, ay ano? Lumalaban. Yes, para siyang lumalaban. Exactly. So, para siyang lumalaban, therefore, um, what's the direction of the force for that, um, um, of this, uh, exerted, uh, exerted by the spring? No? So, parang hinihila ka, di ba? Ikaw yung hihilain ng spring. Right. So, in a way, um, we can model that spring, the that um that uh behavior using this equation, equation sixteen point one. That is, kapag lumala yung lalo yung kamay mo sa sa um pag lumahaba lalo yung spring, mas lalo lumalakas yung force. So that is force is proportional. The I should say the magnitude of the force is proportional to the displacement of the of the of or the length of the stretched spring. Now. Ngayon, negative. Bakit negative? Kasi pag hinihila mo siya, ang tendency ng force ay mag-restore back to equilibrium. And on the other hand, pag tinutulak mo naman, the, the, again, the, the tendency is to um, counteract that force. So therefore, the direction will be, will be opposite the, the expected direction of your, of, your, of your applied force. So um, K here is some proportionality constant known as the spring constant. It has some SI unit newton, newton per meter. Um, this is a non-contact force. Non contact nga ba to? Ba't contact ko? Non -con Ay, non constant. Sorry, non contact. Naduling ako. Sorry, sorry. Sorry for that. It is a non constant force. Observe here na hindi siya gaya ng mga ginag-consider natin before. Na yung force ay constant. Okay? Ito ay dependent na sa displacement. There are some forces that are like that. In fact, mas maraming ganong types ng forces na dependent sa displacement. As I said, in this discussion, we are all considering forces and energies that are dependent on position. Hence, the force now depends on some displacement x, okay, which is the, the stretching or the compression of the spring. Okay? Now, so for example, if, if, if the distance or if the displacement is positive, then the, the force is restoring, therefore the force is negative. Whereas if the displacement is negative, the force now becomes positive. So, um, ang, ang ginagawa lagi ni force, kinokontra niya lagi yung, yung displacement. Uh, kinokontra niya lagi yung action ng nung nung paghila or pagtulak din sa sa spring. So, um kaya siya tinatawag na restoring force. It restores the equilibrium. Um, it wants uh, the, the spring wants to be in equilibrium. Nire-restore niya yung or kinokontra niya yung ina-apply na force sa kanya. Okay? Is that clear? Clear ba tayo doon? Yes. Okay. So, yeah, thank you. So, the force opposes the direction of displacement. The larger the displacement x, the stronger the opposing force. X. So kapag mas mahaba, mas lumalaki yung force. Mas gusto niyang bumalik doon sa equilibrium position. Okay? Questions? May tanong? None so far. Ah, okay. Sige. So um, what's the work done on the spring? The, the important word here is on. Yung spring yung kina... So you do work on the spring. So when you do that, so consider a spring stretch from distance x1 to x2. The work done on the spring is simply force times distance. So, so pwede mong isipin yan na Break is just equal to um, uh, force times distance. Um, and then this is simply one half kx. Um, actually, then, hindi pala ganyan kasimple. Actually, you need to integrate. Sorry, this would be f of fx dx pala from x1 to x2. Kaya pala hindi na pinakita sa slides. So this is simply minus kx um, uh, times um, x dx uh so wait uh, the point here is wait uh, let me remove that uh, medyo weird yung nagiging signs ko anyway the point here is the total work done on the spring ah kasi on the spring okay kaya nagkakaroon ka ng positive dyan somewhere in the in the signs anyway so the work done on the spring is simply the change in um one of kx2 squared minus one of kx1 squared and um the work done by the spring Therefore, will will be reversed. Sino yung nakukuha ko kanina? Work is um, 1 of kx1 squared minus 1 of kx2 squared. Kasi lalabas dyan, work done on, work done um, by the spring is 
uh, minus kx quantity x dx so up to, from x1 to x2. Kaya negative. Kaya ang lalabas dyan is this equation. This will give you the equation 16.3. Okay? Medyo nalito ako kanina, sorry. Okay, are there any questions in this topic? So the point here is this um, break done by elastic force can be uh, can be redefined. So one can define this term here and this term here. So pwede mong isipin negative lang yan ng some difference. And that difference is the difference in the elastic potential energy of the springs. And for thus, thus we can define um, by using work kinetic energy theorem, we, we have that relationship. And we can define the so-called elastic potential energy given by one half kx squared. Okay, questions. So, so the point here is what we did is um, we express the total work in terms of the change in kinetic energy because conservative naman yan. Actually, hindi nagmamatter kung conservative eh. Uh, kailangan lang work is just change in kinetic energy. Um, we're dealing with total work here. Uh, and yun lang naman yung nag-work dun sa, sa object. Sa, um, sa, um, yung spring na break sa object. Therefore, uh, we have change in um, elastic potential energy, which is equal to change in uh, kinetic energy, and we can rearrange it, giving us um, some, this is some potential energy U. This is another some potential energy U, which we can define as the elastic potential energy. So the point here is uh, we have uh, motivated the definition of the elastic potential energy using uh, the work done on the spring. In fact, ang gagamitin natin is um, uh, uh, the work, the system here is the box and the spring. Therefore, ang kailangan natin is work done on the on the spring. Okay, Sige. So 16.4 defines the elastic potential energy. So ang point dito, if you have this elastic potential energy, you can rewrite your conservation of mechanical energy as follows. So it becomes now K1 plus U. Um, elastic one equals k2 plus u elastic two so or it can rewrite this in more general form one of mv1 squared plus one of kx1 squared is one of mv2 squared plus one of kx2 squared so ganyan yung magiging itsura ng conservation of energy mo na ngayon now ang assumption dito ang tanging elastic um, um conservative energy i saw I know, conservative force na makikita ay force due to spring if you have both gravitational and elastic forces nagkakaroon ng additional terms. Right? So for example, um, if both gravitational and elastic forces act on the system, we have uh, we have this relatively long expression. So magkakaroon ka ng initial kinetic energy, initial elastic potential energy, initial gravitational potential energy, you add that, equals to the, the their final counterparts. And in more um, um, explicit form, this, is, this looks like our expression, okay? Questions. Ganyan mahaba. Of course, when you set up your system naman, usually may mga nazi-zero dyan, nazi-zero out. Usually gano'n naman. Questions. May tanong? None so far. None. Okay. So ganyan yung magiging expression nyo for conservation of um, elastic potential um, for of mechanical energy given that there are gravitational and elastic forces acting on, on the system. Okay? Okay. Are there any questions? Wala? And so far. Hola.